Eu sou o que? Check and field ethics I've seen. I think he's one of the most promising. And all my friends are cricket. I just want to skip. I'm skipping everything. To school, to the shops. Kip has wonderful potential not only as an athlete, but I think also as a, as a sport and not. To represent your country. To fly the Aussie flag. To stand up there in front of a home crowd of the Sydney Olympics. I think that's every athlete's dream. Kip's got the potential to reach the top. I think the only thing that's standing between Kip and a gold medal in Sydney in 2000 is the fact that his event isn't actually part of the Olympics yet. Kip's taken away from all those kids out there who want to skip an elite. No, 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 go for it! I kept a low profile uh, for a long time after all that drug test stuff. I wanted to be alone, to get away from it all. I just wanted to run away and hide. I took a while for me to, to come to my senses, you know, to want to face the world again. Mom! When you're wrongly accused of something and, and society turns its back against you, you got to fight back. You have to stand up and, and tell your side of the story. That's why I decided to sit down and write this script. I knew that my story would make a great feature film. It is a shithouse idea. I hate it. Hate it. Kip who? <laughs> when Kip Shearer gave me his script and asked me if I could turn it into a film, I, I didn't know what to say. I took the script home and I read it in one sitting. And I can remember I picked up that phone and I rang him straight away and I said, Kip, this is the kind of film that changes lives. You can count me in. What impressed me the most about Floyd was that he's multi-talented. He's a complete filmmaker, a director and producer and a production manager. He even knew all the technical stuff. What does this bit do? No! I've always wanted to make films, ever since I was a child. <laughs> I can remember my grandfather used to pull me aside at family gatherings and he'd teach me how to frame up that perfect shot. Go away! Go away! He knew exactly where I was coming from. He read the script and bang, you know? He's got this incredibly detailed vision of how he's going to shoot it. I see a track. And I see a man and I see sky and we're tracking and uh, tracking, tracking across the track and zooming and we're zooming and we're zooming and... Stop! Mm. Yes, that's the shot. I'm often sent information about Australian film projects, but rarely have I received a story as powerful as this, such a moving study of human frailty. When you go out on a limb like this and tell your story, Warts and all, it can be pretty unsettling for those who are close to you. As far as I'm concerned, I never had a grandson. Bugger off! Lucky for me, my family and friends were really supportive. Kip and I haven't really spoken since... 
Oh, since the mongrel shafted me at the drugs tribunal. <laughs> I've read his little script. And to be quite honest, I don't think much of it. It's not the whole truth. And that's why I decided to write this book. The first step was finding someone to play me. We had a lot of interest from some really big names. Well, Kip and I decided straight away we didn't want a big name actor. We wanted someone new and fresh. Someone who could really capture what Kip Shearer was all about. Listen, Mum, I'm in my teens now and I'm really serious about this. All my friends are playing footy and cricket, but I just want to skip. I skip everywhere. To school, to the shops. I love it, Mum. Mm. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> next, please. <clears throat> Listen, Mum. I'm in, I'm in my teens now, and I'm, I'm real s serious about this. All my friends are playing footy or cricket. I just want to skip. I skip everywhere. To the store, to the shops. I love it, Mum. And thank you. <clears throat> well, as I see it, we've only got two choices then. There's, uh, it's either Nick or it's Pinjara. Hmm. I really liked Pinjara. Yes, yes. I did. So did I. Very, Something very good work, him. yes. There's only one thing that bothers me, though. Mm. Uh, you see, Pinjara's Aboriginal, and you're not. Uh, what about Nick? Nick. 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 Yes. Very, Very good. good. Strong. Yes. Like Nick. Really strong with Nick. Yes. Connected to him. Wheelchair might be a bit of a problem, though. I skip everywhere. To school to the shops. I love it. I want to be just like my grandfather, Mum. To be as great as he was. And cut. Cut. Oh, yes. That is powerful. We've got it. Got the shot. Yes. I really think this is going to be a landmark Australian film, and I'm quite excited about it. When I'm making a film about someone's life, the most important thing to me is the truth. Has to be. Uh, you... You've got to get it right. What is this? What is this track? I didn't ask for this track. I asked for a, a red track. You heard me say that, didn't you? This is blue. I can't work with blue. You there. I said red, didn't I? I'm not doing this for myself, coach. I'm doing this for my country. I'm doing it for all the battlers, for all the losers who need a hero. I'm doing this for granddad. Cut, cut. No, 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 no. Great work. Good, almost. You're almost there. Um, <clears throat> uh, what I want to see is more emotion. Yes, yes. From the heart, you know? Deep down inside of here, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is a very serious film. This is serious drama. I want you to feel it deep down inside. For your granddad, for the losers, the battlers, you know what I mean? Emotion, huh? All right, let's do it again, people. Right? Great, great. I'm not doing this for myself, coach. I'm doing this for my country. I'm doing this for all the battlers, for all the losers who need a hero. God damn it, I'm doing it for granddad. <laughs> oh, Kip! Cut. That's gold. My role on this film is to portray skipping in its most accurate form and technically and to pass on that, that knowledge and the wisdom that Grandad gave me onto Pinjara. Aim for the hand. Come on, that's the way. More momentum into it. And back and through. You gotta, you know, ready, get set, and then you drive through and then you skip. Pinjara, you gotta come with me. 
Yeah, no, no, you got to, you got to kind of, you got to, you got to visualize. You got to visualize yourself. You know that that goal, the driving through. You know, like hitting that. You know, you want to break through that brick wall. And now build it. Okay, that's right. The momentum. Yeah, coming through, coming through. Imaginary finish line. <laughs> Uh, see what Pinto, you gotta that's the whole point. Otherwise what do you do? You gotta have that extension. That's the joy. You gotta I wanna see the joy. I mean, you know, you, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Try it with me, okay, ready? One, two. Yeah, that's it, that's better, that's it, that's it. I'm creating the gun, I'm creating, you gotta create your own gun, bring your own noise into it. There's not gonna, you know, there's no gun there. Okay, so you gotta create it yourself. Give yourself these goals, then try and get through it. Let's try it again, okay? Come on, come on, come on, lift those legs, lift them up, lift them up. Pichara, Pichara, now stop, now stop, no, no, look. Mate, we talked about this, remember? To remember those three things, the key things. That's right, knees, arms, steam train, the vision. Now come on, you gotta do it. You, you got, this is really important to me, okay? I need you to focus, I need you to listen, I need you to be there 100%. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, I want you to do it, you know? I want you to put it together, you have to figure it out. Right? Faster, faster, push, push, push. Come on, come on, come on, come on, pinch. Slower than last time. It's just all wrong. It's just wrong. Floyd, I can't do it. What? I can't teach him how to skip. He just can't do it. He can't get it. I mean, look oh, at his time. It's a gift, hey, Floyd. Look, 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 I'm doing my very best, but you can't expect me to keep up with Skippy. Here, he's a professional athlete. Yeah, it's all right. But it's not that pin, Joe. You don't understand. Oh, look, hold it. Stop. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know what I'm thinking? Foot doubles. Yes, foot doubles. We'll do you, Pinjara, in a wide shot, and then we'll cut to your legs skipping. Fix it all in editing, it'll be fine. Mm. Hey? His legs are white. Yes, that's right. Strokes, big strokes. Good. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yes, mm, good. Mm. You work well. Mm. I'll never know. Yes, well, um, what we're building up here for now is the um, big training montage scene. Yes, yes. It's um, the day before the Olympic selection trials, and I think it's the day where Kip really decides to push himself harder to, um, well, I suppose to make his Olympic dream a reality. Uh, the scene we're going to shoot now is where um, his coach, Charlie, is really trying to get him motivated. Uh, he'll be down at the end of the track, um, pushing him on, willing him to go harder. want is uh, more emotion. Push it. More effort. Go. Cut. Cut. No, 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 no. Go, Kip. Cut. 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 No. No, 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 no. You've, you've got to get it right. Uh, I 
wouldn't be true to myself as a filmmaker if I didn't portray the absolute truth. Well, uh, what we're doing here is setting up for the big court case scene. Now, this is where Kip has to answer to the Athletics Tribunal after he tested positive to a banned substance at the Olympic selection trials. I'm telling you, I didn't know. I had the sniffles. I took a Lemsip. I didn't realise it had paracetamol in it. That's a lie. Objection! He's badgering the witness. Overruled. Everyone knows there's paracetamol in Lemsips. I thought it was just a hot lemon drink. You say your coach, this Charlie Crockett, offered you the illegal substance? Yeah, he did, okay? He had a ten pack. Having the premiere at a drive-in was my idea. All of the larger cinemas that we tried just didn't have the capacity for the amount of people that we wanted to invite. At a drive-in, you could get five people in a car, plus one in the boot. Now, you multiply that by 50 cars, let's say, that's 300 people, at least. I'm really excited about the premiere. It's going to be like a big Hollywood event, you know, with red carpet and stars and people in black ties and, and, and it's going to have big lights and a big sign and it's going to say, the world premiere of Kip. I can't wait. Well, <laughs> here we are. Uh, it's, um... It's all happening and we're here nice and early to make sure we, we get ourselves the best spot possible. And, well, uh, it's just fantastic that, that all of those months of hard work are finally going to be paying off. We, hundreds of people we're expecting here tonight. Floyd, and I, I thought you said there's going to be lights and a big sign. Uh, no, no, Kip, it's all right. Don't worry. Uh, leave it to me. Uh, carry on, driver. I think it's a terrific idea to have the world premiere in a drive-in. I don't think that's been done before, and it's very clever. Move forward. Wait, wait, move back. Back a little more, a little more. A little more to the right. Hang on, move back, back. Wait, wait, wait. Just a little bit, a little bit forward. Yeah, over to the right. To the right. People don't want to know the truth anymore. They don't want to read books. They prefer to watch that virtual reality TV. They'd rather watch people read books. No, I don't want to see a movie. Go away, I hate movies. Just like my grandfather, Mum. Excuse me! Excuse me! 
Excuse me, we, we can't see the film. Driver, we're missing it. He's not listening to me. God damn it, I'm doing it for Granddad. Um, hello, driver. We're, we're missing our film. What? No, no, it's here. No, look, I can, I can fix it. You got it here. No, there's nothing wrong. It's, it's, it's fine. Like, uh, uh, no, what about that? No, no, uh. Normally.
This is not what I wanted. We didn't discuss this. Where's the real flag? How bad do you want it? You always have to ask yourself that. How bad do you want it? <laughs> you got Pinchar.